Um, so what I've heard about Common Core is uh, that, uh, that adults can't do it. All right, question. Juanita wants to give bags of stickers to her friends. She wants to give the same number of stickers to each friend. She's not sure if she needs four bags or six bags of stickers. How many stickers could she buy so there are no stickers left over? It's missing information. What information are you missing? I guess the first question I would ask is how many friends does she have? How many friends does she have? The number of stickers per bag would be really helpful. Good God, this is an awful question. You can't really answer it unless you assume that they're X number of friends. Here, I could, I could draw you four bags of stickers, right? I'm gonna draw you six bags of stickers. You like my box bags? I guess that's all I have. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how I would answer that without those two. And here's Juanita, right? We'll say she has short, she wears a top hat, and she's just wondering. I'm gonna assume she has six friends, so we're gonna have six bags of stickers. So the question is asking how many stickers could she buy? Oh, excuse me, sorry about that. You know what, Juanita just got long hair. She, she looks like a rat pie now. <laughs> so she can either buy four bags or six bags. Four bags or six bags? You could infer from that that she's got some multiple of friends that's you know, that, that, that's related to four or six or something like that. Like, she's got 12 friends or something like that. Both six and four go into 12. 24? So she's making the four bags or six bags. She's not buying four bags or six bags. So if she's buying 12, right, then 12, you can divide four and six into 12. Oh. and then like every other multiple of four and six. This is a fourth grade level question. Do you think this is appropriate for a fourth grader? If I were a fourth grader, unless somebody told me how to answer that, I would not get that. Just the way I read it and interpreted it was just way off. I would say that this is more of a, a, an exercise in critical thinking. I don't like the problem. I wouldn't teach them with this. For a fourth grader, you gotta make it straight to the point. <laughs> if the purpose is to try to get them to think um, about how to solve problems and what information they're missing, then I think it could be a valuable exercise. Uh, if it's just to get an answer to a math question, then this doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I, I think I've exhausted this, right? I don't think I have any, are there any other questions? No, that's good, we'll wrap it up.